Hey, hey, what's going on everyone? RC84 here, like always, thanks for watching and welcome my friends to part one of Project Humvee. In this video here, we're gonna be working on getting the stock electronics out of the vehicle. Now to do so, I have to remove the entire body off the chassis because the body is attached to the chassis. There are a total of eight screws. Six screws are the main screws that holds the body shell to the chassis. And then there's two screws that holds a exhaust bracket on that I have to remove. And once we do that, I can get into electronics and start replacing those with my new electronics. So let's go ahead and get into tearing this vehicle down and so we can get all the electronics out and all that good stuff. All right, my friends, so let's start the project. So the first thing I wanna do is lay down this nice little foam egg crate. That way, when I put the vehicle upside down, I won't damage or scratch at the body while I'm working on it. I'm gonna take the Humvee and flip it upside down so we can get to the screws. And now there's six screws to take the chassis off itself. Two up here, two here, and two in the rear. And then we have this small sauce bracket that we had to do as well. So let's go ahead and get it taken care of. Okay, so we got all the screws out, so we can grab hold of the body and flip it over, holding it, and it should just pop right off of here, like so. Now, you wanna be careful on this part right here because there's actually this little extension wire or jumper cable, I like to call it, going from the ESC to the rear of the vehicle where the battery's located. So we wanna carefully undo that. So we're gonna set the body to the side so we're not pulling on any wires or anything like that. Unplug it, and there we go. We have the body shell off of the Humvee. So here's a look underneath. All right. So this is a great time to take a look at the chassis and all the detail work into the vehicle while the body shell is off. So you can see it's basically a straight rail chassis right here, but with a slight little C channel to it. We got our transmission right here in the center, our motor right here, our ESC, the servo, the receiver right there, and then we got a micro servo right there, which attaches this little spring that pulls it. So a lot of crazy amount of detail. Flipping the vehicle upside down, or the chassis upside down, so we can take another look at it, as you can see. Now a really cool feature I like is this little scale exhaust pipe that actually runs through and goes to the front, actually where the engine would be at on a Humvee. So definitely a good enough scale right there. Also, down here are these little brake discs to kind of indicate that that's where the brakes are at on a Humvee, which is pretty much true. Okay, so we gotta go ahead and undo the servo arm, or servo horn right there, if the camera would focus, there you go. So we're gonna have to take that off so we can get to our servo and get it out. So let's start with it. So we're gonna go ahead and unplug these wires so we can work on the vehicle safely. So remove that. So this is for the two speed. And this one is for the servo itself. So channel two. Unplug it. There we go. We're gonna unplug this because we're all gonna hook this back up after we're done with the project. All right, so we need a two millimeter hex driver. We wanna do the servo. So 
So here's a quick look at the stock servo. Thrasher, I think it's called, it's the brand. It's the HG SO17. 4.8 volts is six, six volts DC, uh, nine, uh, 9 9.5 kilograms, 90 to 110. And so yeah. Okay, so it's time to take a look at our new servo. Now I decided to go with one of these 20 gram servos. And these are actually pretty decent servers. They're not too bad. You can actually pick these up anywhere from Amazon or eBay for roughly about $20. These are waterproof and they have about uh, around about 200 ounces of torque or so. I'm not exactly sure myself, but 20 grams is better than nine grams of power there. So this is what's gonna go in there. So let's go ahead and get this installed. All right, so one of the things you want to look out for is this little black piece that's on the servo here. Now you have to pry this open, or pry it off actually, to get this little coupling that goes onto the servo horn. So we're going to move that and put that on there. So we got our servo on, so let's go ahead and put the screw back in. Start with the two millimeter one. Well, my friends, we got the servo in, so that is one of the things that's taken off. So there's only six more things that we got to do to the Humvee. So in part two of the video, it's going to be removing the ESC and putting in our new ESC. So hopefully y'all stay tuned for that, my friends. So I'll see you in part two. Thanks for watching. Later.